Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you a simple way to make a sparkly tree ornament using some simple craft materials. Unlike other fragile ornaments, this one can't be broken by young children or pets. You'll need a smooth styrofoam ball as a base, which can be picked up at most craft stores. The first step is to measure the circumference of the ball at its widest point. This will help you to space the ribs evenly. Next, you'll need to pierce a hole from end to end in the ball. This is the hardest part of this craft as coated balls are quite dense. Use a long, sharp needle and some pliers to pierce the hole. Then use a finer knitting needle or similar tool to make sure the hole goes all the way through. Now that the hole is in place, I'll need to make the ribs of my ornament. This is a number three weight pearl cotton called Eleganza. The thicker weight of the thread will give some nice definition to the vertical lines of my ball. Using a sharp hand sewing needle with an eye large enough for the thread, cut a length of about three feet of Eleganza and thread the needle. Run the needle through the hole from end to end. Before the end of the thread disappears in the ball, dab a bit of glue on it then bury the end in the center of the ball. Wait a few minutes for the glue to dry. Now continue running the thread through the ball end to end. Divide your first measurement evenly to determine the spacing of the strands. A spacing of about three quarters of an inch at the widest point works well. I have ended up with 13 ribs. Place a pin in each strand to keep the strands spaced evenly. When you have completed the ribs, again dab glue on the end and bury the tail inside the ball. Then allow the glue to dry. You may have to cut several lengths of Eleganza to complete this task. We can now begin to weave. For this step, I'll be using this beautiful eight-weight rayon thread called Dazzle. It has a strand of metallic added to the rayon, giving it a soft luster with a hint of sparkle. Thread a blunt end needle with a length of Dazzle about 24 inches long. Starting at the top of the ball, run the needle under one of the ribs and pull it through, leaving a small tail. Dab a bit of glue on the tail and allow it to dry. Pull the thread back over the top of the rib you just went under to circle it, then slide it under again. Move on to the next rib and repeat. Once you master this motion, you will be sliding your needle under two ribs and over one. Repeat. Continue around and around, using the tip of the needle to push the thread up tight to the last thread. Be careful not to pull so tight that you distort the ribs. When you come to the end of your thread, you can glue it to the ball surface and then go back to the previous rib with the new strand to carry on. When you get approximately a quarter inch above the middle of the ball, pull out the pins or move them down and run a row of braid under the ribs. Fold the ends under and hand stitch the ends together.
Slide your join under one of the ribs to hide. Continue on with the dazzle until you come to the end of the ball, then once again hide the tail in the center of the ball. To finish the ball, I'm going to add a string that will hang from the ornament. Thread a sharp needle with a long strand of dazzle, about 8 inches long. Run it through the center of the ball, run the needle through the center hole of a bead, then back up through the ball. Run both of these strands through another bead, knot together, and then knot again about two inches up to create a hanging loop. A dab of glue at each knot will keep it all secure. And that's all there is to it. This is a fun craft to do while you're enjoying all those Christmas movies. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and subscribe for more great tips and tricks. We'll see you all next time.